So we are in Xi'an. We have made it. We're halfway through our little tour and we're heading out today. It's a rainy day. Not ideal for sightseeing, but great light. And we're just gonna go see what's in and out, in and around, go see some temples, go see some parks. Today's gonna be one of those just cultural walking days. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get rained on the whole time. So let's get it! Let's go. Hi hey guys, so we're in um, Xi'an, China. I think it's our fourth city now. Um, today we're gonna go on a big adventure. We're gonna walk to a couple of places, gonna see the biggest fountain in China. It's raining, it's cold. Um, I have an umbrella. This is my second umbrella because the one was broken and I didn't want them to think that I broke it. So I went and changed it now. Um, that's, that's my story. This is Rich's umbrella. It was good fun today. Um, hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Let's get it! are in Xi'an! Uh, we are out, we're heading through a Paradise Park to a heritage site, it's going to be amazing. We have an incredible day lined up and we're just going to go explore. We're going to see what this city has to offer today. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, this is my favorite weather. Favorite. Ever. Just saying. Thank you, Metro. But today is a walking tour. On what? It's my favorite weather. Rainy days suck. It's raining on my camera. So we've done a lot of sightseeing so far. We've we've seen a lot of China, and I know that one of the things that I've, I've really learned is that yeah, things look similar. People are the same. They just speak different languages. They communicate in a different way, physically, and you know, with with the language that they speak. But it's just it's it's amazing that you can be reminded that people are just people. And I saw this post on this morning. And it said, just, just love everybody. Just, just love everybody. It's loud, but just love. Just love everybody. It's kind of like we're in a wild goose chase because we're about to go and see the Wild Goose Pagoda, one of the most famous Buddhist temples here in China, China, Xi'an. Glad you guys are watching and enjoying the episode. Don't tune out just yet. We've got so much more coming for you. Remember, like, subscribe, share, comment, everything. Do the thing. You know what to do. Let's get it!
exploring. Go out and find yourself. Find yourself when you get lost. <laughs> Sounds about right. It's like a Star Wars dream come true. don't know, I'm a big Star Wars fan, and this is a Han Solo dream come true. It's my mom! <laughs> Jump off the edge. Han Solo! made Star Wars in print forever. <sighs> this is honestly just so much beauty. Look at that. We're at a place called the Wild Goose Pagoda. It's one of the oldest temples in China. Um, we're not going to go in today because we saw the Yellow Crane Tower in uh, Wuhan, which was beautiful. We had an incredible view. So we're going to move on to one of the biggest fountains in China. I mean, it's still quite a rainy day, so we're trying not to, to get too wet and 
we just want to see as much as we possibly can. So next time, next time we come to Xi'an, we'll come to the, this temple. Come on. Exactly. really more of a gallery. Beautiful. I love it when people create things. Creation is the way forward. Right? I believe that. sponsored by KFC. getting rained out. We're heading towards a coffee shop that's run by a local and that's what this weather calls for, right? Coffee and good food. It's cold. Isabella's hating life. I'm not, I'm just cold. <laughs> Come inside. <laughs> wow. So today we've had an amazing day on Vlogging for Rich. We had an amazing day um, in Xi'an, China, and it's been really, really cold and not miserable, but cold. And I get miserable in the cold. But we've had a really cool day, and I think days like this you get reminded of when you're walking and you can't really see that far because of fog and clouds and rain you only kind of see what's around you you get reminded of how special the things that are close are 
I think so often as human beings we walk and we look at the views over there and we don't actually look at what's right in front of us and experience the things that are so close to us. So that's something that we've learned today and um, Rich, when you watch this because you're at the bathroom right now, um, hope you relate to that because this is your vlog, not mine. So that's my story. Thanks. Oh, thank you.